Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about various aspects of observation which play an important role in research study. First, meaning and definitions of observation. The word observation is originated from Latin word observationium which means a watching over, observance, investigation or sense or fact of paying attention. Observation method means to watch attentively in a scientific manner. Observation method denotes to watch attentively but must be done in a scientific manner. In an observational study, the current status of phenomenon is determined not by asking but by observing. Observation method indicates data collection by watching situation of interest. Observation method is considered as a method of data collection in which the situation of interest is watched and the relevant facts, actions and behaviours are recorded. Observation method points out data collection by watching but without any direct contact. Observation method is a technique in which the behaviour of research subject is watched and recorded without any direct contact. It is a research method that involves watching and recording by audio, video or writing. It is a research method that involves watching people and recording their actions by audio, visuals or writing. For example, on the issue of global warming, photography contest is organized by students of different classes. Their developed photographs are found to cover all components of the topic. On the other side, some observers are watching the photographs and collecting information for their own study. Characteristics of observation method Observation method helps to conduct direct study. Observation is a very vital scientific method which helps a lot in collection of the primary data by conducting direct study. As a result, the collected data is always reliable in nature. Observation involves both mental and physical activity. In observation method, both mental and physical activity is involved to collect relevant data. Investigator selects a relevant sample to observe. Observation is made on selective basis, that is, the investigator always prefers to select a relevant sample. Investigator determines reality which helps to avoid manipulation. It helps the investigator to determine the reality and avoids manipulation. Observation is always done on natural environment rather than artificial milieu. The collection and recording of data is not selective. It is done as it is observed in natural environment rather than creating an artificial or laboratory environment. This method engages only a few items or subjects to observe at a time. In observation method of data collection, only a few items or subjects are systematically observed at a time. Purpose or advantages of observation method Observation method helps to capture the actual happenings. This method is used to capture the activities which are actually occurring. Valid data is collected for qualitative study. Observation method is used to collect the valid data for establishing qualitative study. Observation focuses on insight into the matter and gains graphic description. Utilization of this method is always done to gain the data related to insights into the matter and more graphic description of the actual happenings. It helps to study the important events and different situations. 
This method is involved to collect data concerned to the important events without having any situational variation. Observation method can verify the findings of other studies. This method has the potentiality to verify the findings of other studies on the basis of the collected data. Types of observation First, participant and non-participant observation method. Second, structured and unstructured observation. Third, subjective and objective observation method. Fourth, direct and indirect observation method. Fifth, controlled and non-controlled observation method. Sixth, covert and overt observation method. Participant and non-participant observation method. Participation by the observers with the various types of operations of the group under study refers to the participant observation. In participant observation, the degree of the participation is largely affected by the nature of the study and it also depends on the type of the situation and also on its demands. For example, observer is found to participate in activities and side by side in observing the activities of the group. But in the non-participant type of observation, no participation of the observer in the activities of the group takes place and also there occurs no relationship between the observer and the group. For example, observer is watching the activities concerned to the drawing of participants in a non-participation mode. From a distance, observer is found to watch the activities and receive the required information. Structured and unstructured observation method. Structured observation works according to a plan and involves specific information of the units which are to be observed. Here, observable points are decided well in advance. For example, observation schedule is developed to organize a study regarding ICT resources in school. Therefore, the main ICT items are enlisted and accordingly observation is done in the context of its quantity, functional and non-functional aspects. Observation schedule of ICT, resources in ICT lab of the school. Names of the items, desktop PCs, Laptop, tablet, whiteboard, webcam, headphone, LCD projector, printer, inkjet or laser, scanner, CD or DVD player, pen drives, internet connection, its quantity, functional, non-functional status. But in case of the unstructured observation, Observer has the freedom to note down whatever he or she feels is correct and relevant to the point of study. For example, in an ICT lab, observer is watching and just noting down without having any predecided points. Third, subjective and objective observation method. Subjective observation involves the observation of one's own immediate experience, whereas the observations involving observer as an entity apart from the thing being observed are referred to as objective observation. For example, under subjective observation, experience of a teacher in particular subject can be felt through discussion, whereas objective observations are material like drawing, painting, writing, etc., which can be seen. For example, in a competition, students are drawing and painting. Here, the observer is watching the drawing and painting materials and noting down accordingly. Fourth, direct and indirect observation method. In direct observation, the investigator is physically present to observe the incidents 
to record and to sometimes monitor. No attempt is being made to control or manipulate the situation. For example, the students are electronically doing the assignments given by their teacher. Observer is directly watching the performances of the students and recording accordingly without having any intervention. Indirect method of observation means observation but takes place in indirect manner under any study. Mechanical recording or the recording by some of the other means like photographic or electronic recording is watched by the observer and gathered information. For example, photograph or videograph of plantation process is captured by electronic device by camera. Then observer can watch the process indirectly through this device and gather information as per requirement. Fifth, controlled and non-controlled observation method. Controlled observations are the observations made under the influence of some of the external forces. But these observations can be very effective to work in the coordination with mechanical synchronizing devices, film, recording, etc. For example, in a video studio, two persons are discussing a matter and recording is going on accordingly. Their discussion points are controlled or guided by another in accordance with the objectives. Non-controlled observations are made in the natural environment and these observations involve no influence or guidance from any type of external force. For example, people are suffering from extreme rainfall. There is no possibility to control rainfall which is recorded by camera as a part of outdoor shooting. Sixth, covert and overt observation method. In covert observation, the investigators do not identify themselves. Either they mix with the subjects undetected or they observe from a distance. For example, in examination center, observer is observing the situation from a distance. But in overt observation, observer is having identity as an investigator and purpose of his observation is also explained at the time of his observation. For example, in examination center, investigator is found to come very close and observe the situation. Examinees are also acquainted with the identity and purpose of the investigator. Advantages of observation. First, direct method for data collection. Observation is considered as the most direct method for collecting data or information best for the study of human behavior. Second, collection of both accurate and reliable data. The collected data is very accurate in nature and also very reliable to use in study. Third, avoidance of the dependency on respondents. This method helps to avoid the dependency on respondent for data collection. Fourth, avoidance of the biasness of respondents. Respondents sometimes may be biased to deliver the accurate information. Biasness of the respondents may be reduced through intimate and informal relationship. Fifth, identification of a problem by in-depth analysis. By observation, investigator can identify a problem by making an in-depth analysis of the problems. Disadvantages of observation. First, inability for observing attitudes, motivation, etc. Observation method is having the inability to observe attitudes, motivation, state of mind, intention and images of the subjects. Second, Past problems are not observable. It is in real that problems of the past cannot be studied by means of observation. Third, acceptance of small sample size. 
observation involves a lot of time as one has to wait for an event to happen to study the particular event. Therefore, small sample is undertaken for the study. Fourth, incomplete data collection method. Complete answer to any problem or any issue cannot be obtained by observation alone. Therefore, the collected data by using observation method is considered as incomplete in nature. Fifth, expensive data collection method. Observations in particular, the controlled observations require some special instruments or tools for effective working like recording which is very much expensive. Today, we have discussed about observation. For further reading, you can consult the mentioned references and visit the following websites. In the next lecture, we will discuss about interview. Thank you.